This video explains how to handle the error message error in contrasts. Contrasts can only be applied to factors with two or more levels in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create in lines two to five of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new data set called data is appearing. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line six of the code. And then you can see that our data set contains six rows, three predictor variables, x1, x2, and x3, as well as a target variable called y. Now let's assume that we want to estimate a linear regression model based on these data. Then we might try to use the lm function, as you can see in line eight of the code. So within the lm function, we are specifying the target variable y, and we are specifying that we want to use all the other variables in our data set as predictors. However, after running line eight of the code, you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, the error in contrasts, contrasts can be applied only to factors with two or more levels is returned. And the reason for that is that our data set contains a factor column, more precisely the factor column x3, which contains only the value five. However, if we want to apply a linear regression model, we need to use only factors that have at least two factor levels. And for that reason, we cannot use the variable x3 in our regression model. So in order to identify those kind of variables, we can use the code that you can see in line 10. So in this line of code, we are using the s apply, the l apply, the unique and the length functions to return an output which shows the number of different values in each of our columns. So if you run line 10 of the code, you can see that a new data object called values count is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that an output is returned. This output is a named vector, which contains the names of our columns, x1, x2, x3, and y. And below you can see certain numbers, and these numbers contain the different cases, the number of different cases in our data set. And as you can see, the column x3 contains the value one. So in other words, this column contains only one single value. So in our case, the value five. And for that reason, we would have to exclude this column from our linear model. And we can do that as you can see in line 13 of the code. So once again, I'm using the LM function. I'm specifying our target variable. However, then I'm specifying that I want to use only a subset of our data frame. And this subset should contain only those columns with at least two different values in this column. So after running line 13 of the code, you can see that a proper linear regression output is returned and we don't see any error messages anymore. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.